What's up everybody, Michael Hurdle here from the Michael Hurdle Production Studio. Here in my garage, I got my Tesla P90. Eh, I forgot my drone in the back of the seat, so I figure I gotta just go get it right now. You know, show you how I'm living. Here we go. Open sesame, mother oh, Let me get my bags and stuff. There we go. Oh, I don't need this. Let me get my Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian. Nah, just kidding, it's my friend's car right here. This is Frank. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Had to make myself look fly for a minute. <laughs> so we gotta push that red button, and this bad boy goes down on its own. Let's see. That's just what you call ridiculous. Oh my God. My goodness. First world problems. First world problems. First world problems. <laughs> What's up everybody, Michael Hurdle here from the Michael Hurdle Production Studio, helping you render your imagination when it comes to video production, 3D animation, and visual effects on a small or no budget at all. It's my boy Frank right here, and who would have ever thought today, drone festival in Queens, that we, or I, will be driving to this drone festival in a mother freaking Tesla. My boy Frank. Yo, when he was telling me some information about this Tesla, my mind was blown. And now, if you've never driven in a Tesla before, or if you don't know anything about a Tesla like me who was late to the game, it'll feel like you went 20 years into the future. Because I never thought that this car would actually exist in this time zone, and I'll be sitting in it going to a drone festival. Look at this, look at this, the, the windshield goes all the way to the top so you can just sit back and be like, ah. Look and look at, at the sky, look at the beautiful sky. Look at that, and, and now you were telling me before that this car yeah. runs off of electricity, not gas. Yes, yeah, all electric, it's an all electric car. Now that's cool. This is the charging hub for the Tesla. So you said this has no exhaust, no muffler, no engine. Um, it takes about what, uh, 20 minutes to charge at a supercharger? 20, depending on what level you are, you could be from 20 minutes to 35 minutes to maybe the top, maybe 40 minutes. But that's like if you're at that zero. If you don't get into that I know a lot of people are gonna ask, how far can you get on one full charge? This particular model is a P90D. This one can go 250 miles. Before it needs another charge. Before it needs another charge. I don't see any superchargers here at these gas stations. I only see regular gas stations. Where on earth are you gonna find superchargers? Well, they're located all over. They're on the maps. And if you take a quick look at this, check this out. You know, we're gonna let it zoom out. We could press this. And everywhere you see a red is um, where you can find a supercharger. Oh. So it actually tells you where you're gonna where the superchargers are located. It tells you how many people are at the superchargers. Right now. So yeah, yeah, like this one B, there's like two people there charging right now. You can see there's two oh, bars. Oh, it tells so, you to know. Well, yeah. wait a minute, how do they know it's two people there? Well, well, as you soon have to you register. Plug in, as soon oh. as you plug in the car, you know, the Tesla, you know, network system already know you're plugged in and you're, you know, you're charging your car there.
unnecessarily ridiculous. <laughs> wow, that was, that was ridiculous. That was fucking sick. Holy crap. Sorry. your question. Sorry. Tell me I'm into the, a restricted flight zone. How do I oh, take that yes, off? We're yeah. outside the airport, so I think, um, let I've me ask Harold. That situation before. Yeah, let me ask Harold because he works for DJI. Oh, okay, thanks. This thing will not start my drone because it says I'm at the airport. Today is the Drone Festival in Queens, New York, and me and my boy Frank decided to go and uh, take a, a venture out there, fly some drones, get to network with some people. I met some really awesome people out there. Drone X Factor, my boy Xavier, he's out there doing his thing, thing or whatever the case may be. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take my Phantom and I'm gonna put it up there and I'm gonna get some good shots of his uh, Tesla. So uh, let me cut this video and I'll be right back so I can start this bad boy up. So let's start this bad boy up. there we go ah it is playing music yo this is a smooth ride man you know every time you step on the accelerator like that on the on the accelerator like that my, my butthole puckers up <laughs> <laughs> i'm hanging with my boy frank we we went all about the place today we wrapping up the show right now we just hanging out uh we went to the drone festival in queens today we met xavier from drone x factor we met a few people a shout out to xavier yeah my boy Frank right here, I know him for many years. If you don't know who he is, or if you remember who he is, he used to be with TS Gaming. You know, he used to be the one hosting the events. He was the one in charge of all that kind of stuff. And me and him, we still roll with each other, still hanging out. That's right. As as the Jamaicans would say, big things are going on. <laughs> <laughs> big things are going on with this man right here. He gave me a full crash course in riding in his Tesla. And I got to say, when you ride in a Tesla, you cannot go back to a regular car, man. When when he, when he I ride with him in his Tesla and I go back to my truck, I, I felt like I'm Freddie Flintstone and Barney starting a car with my bare foot. That's how it feels like. <laughs> and just driving away <laughs> because because the oh, feeling God. the experience is so different it's ridiculous so uh who would have ever thought when i woke up this morning i would be going to a drone festival in a tesla p90 p90 right p90d p90d don't forget that <laughs> son you better recognize all right there's different levels to this ish i love those mavic pros man they so pretty They look like flying cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> 